Hi and welcome to random number calculator using Python. What I'm going to do now is to try and add up all these numbers that we have in here. And these numbers that you guys are looking at were officially generated using random number. So I'm going to enter the following. Let's check our answer. You have entered an incorrect answer. Okay, and right here you see an indication telling you you've entered an incorrect number. Let's try another one. We have the same thing, and the message box pops up. Now, let's try to be a genius. Well done, you are a genius, and that's the correct answer. We also have a reset button. There we go. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to exit out. And we we'll start a new project entirely. Let's go to file. New. And right there. We can, let's close this anyway. And let's import as follows. In the first place I'm going to import as from. Take in time. Import all of the above. Let's enter star in there. The next thing I intend to import is I'm going to import the message dialog box. And let's just say ticking task world dot message box. Paste that in there. Dot message box. Okay, move this close. And one other thing I intend to import is going to be the random, random generator library import random there we go now I'm going to give my app a name I'll call that root equals tk and after that let's say root dot let's give that a name dot title equals I'm just going to call that random number calculator random number calculator there that is the name now the next thing is let's get the root to embed our geometry the geometry will be as follows so I'm going to go for 460 times 550 plus so let me go for about 200 plus 100 that would be for the coordinate there we go now I'm going to define my frame so I'm going to call that main frame and that is my widget there and inside the widget is going to be the root is going to be the main parent for this frame and the bg color i'm just gonna make that candidate blue you can change your color to whatever you want the choice is yours now this main frame let's run it up come right down here paste and let's go for dot grid there now i'm going to define three more frames that will go inside this main frame i've just copied this and changed things around And there we go. So let's say root dot main loop. Let's end it right there. And the next thing I would like to do now is I'm going to declare the following as my variable. So let's say ax1. Let's say that's an integer. So that's the very first one. And as follows okay variables declared the next thing is I'm going to enter the following widget a label and text entrance the widget is called entrance that is it right there the widget is inside my data frame 2 okay now 
let's go to file and save this then we can then run it and see how it's gonna look like and right there so I'm just gonna call that random calculator there we go and let's just save that right so if I run it now this is what you guys will see there okay that is what you guys are seeing right now okay I'm going to now copy this and let's add more to that okay and just change the row to row number two three and here this one is going to be two as the variable and variable number three okay if I run it now this is what you guys will see this is how it looks so far all right let's close that and just copy it some more okay if I scroll down now this is my or those are my widget there we go guys have a good look at them there it is and here I've also added another label so if I run it it won't look that encouraging but we can always adjust there we go that's how it looks now but let's readjust the appearance so I'm gonna go up here that is the width so I'm gonna change the width around change that for here here and there there we go so let's run it again that's it that's how it looks now so all that is left here is we need to add some buttons I need three of those and right underneath here I'm going to add my buttons and right here guys those are my buttons right there okay those are the buttons you have a good look at it take it off so that you can see the rest of the codes all right all the widgets are in place let's run it and you see what I'm talking about there we go yeah that's it but nothing is happening to all of these buttons now I'm gonna close that I don't like the position so let's move this 300 and let's make this about maybe 40 let's run it again I should come a little bit centered so there we go it's a little bit much better all right close that now all that is left for us to do is let's declare some variables for my random numbers so right underneath here i'm going to say x equals one that's for my random number random dot ran integer and I'm going to give it a value, let's say between 1 and maybe 250. So that's my random value. So I'm going to copy this because I have 8 of those widgets. So I'm going to change that to 8. So that should generate 8 numbers for me, 8 random numbers. Let's just change the value so seven and eight. Okay. Now the next thing is you see this one that we declare earlier on. I'm gonna copy all of those. No, just the eight. Copy that and bring it right underneath here. I will now assign the value whatever we have inside the random number. So this one is going to be dot set the value equals x1 okay as sh and uh, as you can see a x1 that is assigned to this very widget here 
look at it, 8x1, 8x2, 8x3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 of those entering widget there. So I'm going to copy this and just change the numbers around more or less like just systematically speeding up the whole process. I would then change the numbers now that I've assigned all of the random number to my variables okay I will now run it and remember all of these variables are actually inside the text box here look at this all right okay and let's see the only variable that I haven't used right now is the ax9 and ax10 AX10 is assigned to this one and AX9 will use it in adding up all of these but for now let's just run it and you guys will see what I'm talking about there we go and nothing is happening right now so I'm going to close that let's close that you see AX10 right here ok now let's come in here AX9 is that in there change that to as9 dot set equals ax1 no it's going to be x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus x8 so there that is done now I'm going to say ax10 we you know, make sure that it's empty now AX10 is nothing and this is AX10 right AX10 that is it right there so if I run it what you guys will see is there will be nothing inside AX10 there we go nothing inside AX10 anymore if you recall I used to have a zero there if I comment that out you will see the zero again Okay, it's commented now, so let's run it again. There, that's the zero back on board. All right, get rid of that and get rid of the comment. Now, the next thing I like to do is I'm gonna create, let's say, sum up. So, sum up we add up as follows. Let's queue equals q is just a local variable inside that method that I'm creating or function ax9 dot get there and p equals float and that is gonna be as10 that's a 10 right now what I'll then do is I'll use an if statement to compare what we have Q if Q equals P okay then I'm going to say tick enter dot message message box dot show information show info and the information I would like you to show is just to let's say let's call it return result okay result and that is going to be well done A genius so if you're able to add up all of the numbers then we class you as a genius now make sure that it's indented else what are you copy that paste it right here else 
and that should be right here. I'm going to first of all clear out whatever we have in here. Or we can just put that underneath here. And clear out whatever is in there. Giving you a chance to re enter another value. Alright, so let's say that is going to be you have entered. Correct answer okay that is taken care of so I'm going to now call this sum up inside my button here that is called check answer so in here just want to put a comma here and let's enter command equals sum up and the next one here is going to be let's go for reset I'm going to create another one and in the case of reset I would like it to redisplay all of this so I'm going to copy that and come right down here Deem define reset let's say I reset and this is it that's I reset let's get all of that indented Come right down here. Um, come in here and get it indented. And the other one is I want to clear up, clear out number ten. And there. Okay. And finally, yeah, have my yeah. That's fine there. And finally, I need to to create another function for for the exit. That's the function for exit. So all of these functions, let's call them in here. Come right down here and just call command. So this one is going to be exit. Copy that and change this to exit. Why the other one is going to be called I reset? copy and come right down here change that to I reset so that is everything taken care of take a good look of these lines of code I'm going to take it down so that you guys can see it then we'll run the program there now for those of you who are my or who are members of my channel if you want you can always send me an email and I will forward these lines of code to you guys and you can always pay the four pound ninety nine p to be a member of this channel. So I'm going to run the program now. And let's see. Okay, we have an error. What is the error? Comma missing here. Enter a comma here and another comma here. Run it again. Yeah, there we go. Right there, guys. So you just need to add up and see if you can get the right answer. Nope correct so let's say we enter that I want to reset we say we reset that enter something there is incorrect now let's reset and try to work this out so let's enter let's enter correct number there yeah oh that's incorrect okay so let's see again I think the number is this, the answer is 1407 there we go well done you are a genius with that guys I'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial I suppose you guys enjoy it you all have a nice day now bye for now